Hello everyone, good afternoon and welcome to, um, to the Evergreen Europe River and Land Touring webinar. Uh, my name is Alicia Coote and I am the Product Manager for Evergreen Europe and today I'll be going through with you some of our great shoots um, and also show you some of our most popular itineraries that we have on offer for 2018. Um, if you do have any questions uh, throughout, uh, you're welcome to type these in. Um, perhaps save them till the end as we may answer them, um, but if anything pops into your mind, just send it away there and we can try and answer it as well. So welcome on board. Uh, so over the next 45 minutes or so, um, I hope that you'll be inspired uh, to choose Evergreen for your next river cruise. And I'll be covering a couple of main points with you. Um, so the Evergreen experience and our story, uh, what it's like on board our award-winning ships, and uh, the exclusive experiences that we have from our Euro Invited program and our Emerald Active program. Um, also some of our additional experiences that you can add on there with the Discover More program available. Um, some of our most popular itineraries and some cities that we can join on either side of your cruise. And last of all, we will go through our early bird offers uh, and some exclusive discounts that we offer. So hopefully by the end, um, I'd love for you to join us on a world of discovery with Evergreen. So as you know, there are many river cruise options and it can sometimes be a little bit overwhelming when you open up the Saturday papers um, and it's a bit hard to work out what each different um, company offers and what's really included and what you're getting for your money. Um, so at Evergreen we've been sharing the world with guests for 37 years now and we really value quality, service and freedom and that's definitely what we stand for when we design all of our itineraries. We also have a dedicated operations team based in Europe um, to assist us with any of the day-to-day -day running uh, of those tours and cruises. Our beautiful Starships, which we launched in 2014, were awarded Best New River Ship. Uh, so that was in their first year of running. And then in 2015 and 16, we were awarded Best River Lines of Value. Um, so you can really be assured of something very special on board of our river cruises, and they've really been tailored for Australian guests. So moving forward, we'll have a look at our beautiful Starships. Um, a lot of the river cruise ships out there are very old world in style um, and we've gone for a much more modern and contemporary design. So there's lots of glass, and floor ceiling windows, and high ceilings and lots of bright open spaces as you can see here uh, in the lobby of the ship. We currently have seven emerald star ships in our fleet which is actually the youngest fleet on Europe's rivers. And we started on the Vine and Danube in 2014 with two custom design ships and then another two launched uh, later in 2016 with the same design. So uh, we launched a fifth ship uh, just this year in April which was the Emerald Destiny and since then we've also introduced another two brand new ships. Um, this year, one in the south of France and also sailing Portugal's beautiful Douro River. Our wonderful pool sits at the rear of the ship and this is something that's really unique to Evergreen and the Emerald Star ships. So by day, your pool is a tranquil place for a dip um, or perhaps curl up with a book um, and watch the world go by. So this is somewhat of an observation car style that you might have seen on some of the scenic railway journeys. So it's got three sides of glass windows and also a retractable roof which will open up during nice weather. So it's beautiful to sit back there and relax. So that pool there is around 6 by 4 metres, so not quite as big as a backyard pool, but not far off it if you want to do some laps. At night we transform this space into a cinema. So the floor of the pool actually rises up and the water disappears underneath and it transforms into a cinema lounge. So it's a great alternative to um, some of the entertainment that we have on in the Horizon Lounge. Uh, in the back of the cinema here we show a variety of recent releases and some classics along with a few music concerts. So on a recent uh, cruise that I did we actually played a Michael Bublé concert as we were cruising down the river, um, complete with some popcorn and a cocktail.
selling hands, so what more could you want as you cruise along the beautiful Danube? Our main entertaining space is the Horizon Lounge, and here you can help yourselves to a cappuccino or an espresso at any time through the day uh, with our 24-hour coffee machine. Um, for safety reasons, we don't have kettles in the cabins. Um, however, as I said, you can access this lounge any, at any time through the day um, or through your cruise. Now, each night before dinner, we uh, host a port talk here with your cruise director and they'll outline the plans for the next day's adventures um, and any particular things that you need, such as certain footwear or perhaps a jacket if you're going um, up into one of the mountains. We also have a musician every night here um, who will sing and play the piano. And we also bring in some local acts like a gypsy dancing show, uh, a Bavarian Umpar band. Um, so it's not ocean cruising in terms of big productions, but still great by river cruise standards. Um, and it will give you a real taste of some of the local talents and uh, musical styles. We do have free Wi-Fi throughout the ship. Um, so you may find it stronger in the lounge, uh, but it will work in your cabins as well. Certain areas where we're sailing through, um, you may find that the signal is a little bit lower, um, but it certainly works very well in all of the main cities. Now the sun deck is on our top deck of the ship, and it, it has beautiful 360 degree views. And on our Rhineman Danube and also our Rhone, the south of France, uh, it will be equipped with a mini golf set, um, giant tic-tac-toes, so you can play along um, some knots and crosses, a walking track, um, a barbecue area, which we sometimes use for lunch throughout the cruise. Now, throughout the Amsterdam to Budapest cruise over 15 days, we cruise for around nine of the 14 nights. Um, to make the most of the time that you have there in the beautiful towns and villages. We cruise through the day uh, where it's very picturesque, like through the Rhine Gorge um, and the Wachau Valley, and then through parts of Germany and Austria. So during these sailings, uh, the sun deck is a great spot for taking the view. Um, otherwise, we're generally sailing at night, um, where there's perhaps an industrial area um, or not quite as pretty as those beautiful gorges. There will be occasions throughout your cruise where we close the sun deck, and this is because we're passing under low ridges. Um, but generally, this is done when you're on your excursions throughout the day. Now, on the duo, it's a little bit different. Um, we actually have lots of daytime sailing because the locks don't operate overnight. Um, and for this reason, we've actually positioned the pool up on the roof to make the most of the beautiful sunshine uh, and scenery throughout that area. Now, on an evergreen cruise, you'll enjoy a shore excursion every day with an experienced local guide. Um, and we have several groups um, throughout the cruise. One will be a little bit more leisurely paced, so you can take your time and get the photos, or perhaps if you're a little bit slower on your feet. Uh, with some of these old towns and the cobblestone streets, I do recommend taking some comfy shoes, but your cruise director will be able to assist you um, with details of each excursion. Um, through some of the bigger cities, we also take you around by coach. Now, no matter which group you join, um, everyone will have your own personal headset, so you can still see the guide from a few metres away. Now, one of the questions that we regularly get is regarding accessibility for someone who's maybe a little less mobile. Um, so from time to time, we do actually have to drop next to ships, and you will be required to um, come up and over the ships. Um, so you, you do need to be able to get around a set of stairs, um, but if you have someone that can assist you. Um, so in these instances, um, the wheelchairs aren't um, the most easily movable devices, um, but so long as you can have someone assist you and um, get up and over the stairs, that's okay. We do have an elevator on all of our ships, and this goes to the three levels of cabins on the ship. Um, and there are it's a set of stairs up to the sun deck. With all of our cruises, all of the meals are included. So we start the day with a hot and cold buffet breakfast in the restaurant, 
uh, as well as an early rise and breakfast up in the lounge or out on the upper tier terrace as these guests there are having out there. The breakfast also includes tea, coffee and juices, which the wait staff will bring around to you. Lunch is again a hot and cold buffet in the restaurant and weather permitting we also occasionally offer a barbecue lunch up on the sun deck. Now for someone who's looking for a light lunch, we also offer this in the Horizon Lounge. Um, so perhaps if you prefer a quiet option there um, and sit back and enjoy the views as you sail along with a glass of beer or wine. Now dinner is a four course uh, a la carte menu each night and each night the menu will change. So there's a great variety on offer throughout the cruise. And our chefs also offer a simplified choice um, of mains such as a steak or a, a salmon or a chicken fillet as well. Uh, you don't need to dress up for dinner, it's not a formal occasion, um, so um, just smart casual is fine, there's no need for a jacket and tie. Now my favourite part of the menu is of course the desserts, um, and we actually have a pastry chef on board preparing all of these fresh each day. So here in this image is just a small selection of our lunchtime dessert buffet, um, so definitely lots of choices available there. Now we serve complimentary beer, wine and soft drinks uh, throughout your cruise with lunch and dinner uh, and you can choose from a variety of, of European wines with these meals. Now the weight stuff are quite generous with these pours and will come around topping up um, throughout your meal. Um, if you're not such a big drinker, um, this is probably a great option because we're not covering the cost of drinks throughout the day for an entire cruise load of people. Um, if you would like to enjoy a drink outside of lunch and dinner, we do have these um, available and they are quite affordable. So beers range from around 3 to 4 euros each, um, wine is around the same and cocktails are around 7 euros, so quite affordable. Um, we can put these onto your room tab and you can settle these at any time throughout the cruise or before you disembark. Um, if you do prefer um, the security of the drinks plan cut, we do have good value drinks packages available on board and they start from around 10 euros a day. So again, very good value um, and they can be added on at any time throughout the cruise. If you're accustomed to uh, Ocean cruising, for example, um, and drinks packages there are a little bit cheaper than most. So our most expensive daily drink package is only around 20 euros a day. Our service on board really is like a five-star hotel, uh, and many of the crew have been with us from start from the start, and they really love working on our ships each season. Breakfast and lunch are served at your leisure within a time frame. A uh, window of a few hours uh, and dinner is served in one sitting, so with all of your fellow guests. Now the atmosphere on board is always really friendly and welcoming um, and our team regularly get rave reviews in our, in our guest surveys. If you do have any special dietary needs, just let uh, your travel agent or our reservations team know when you make that booking um, as we can cater for things like um, gluten-free, vegetarian and dairy-free options. We've also got our Emerald Active program which really appeals to our more active guests and this is something that we've really amped up in recent years. So we now include things like guided bike tours in cities uh, like Amsterdam and Vienna and also guided bike rides along the riverbanks from town to town. We also offer a few guided hikes through lovely vineyards or up to medieval ruins like Dernstein Castle uh, or even a canoeing excursion on the Douro uh, which looks like lots of fun. We do offer onboard yoga classes in both France and Portugal on our river cruises uh, a number of times throughout the cruise. Now all of these activities are complimentary and on a first come first served basis um, so when you jump on board just speak to your cruise director if there's something that really takes your fancy. Um, if we are docked in town, you can take the bikes out for a spin if they're not being used for the Emerald Active excursion. Um, so just check with the team on board when the best time for that would be. Now 
Now, if you haven't seen our website, we do have a 360 degree ship tour, which you can use to take a look at some of the different cabins that I'm about to show you. Um, so there are four main cabin types on board your Starship, and I'm sure that we have a suite or a stateroom that will suit everyone. Now, each of these are fairly similar from ship to ship. Um, they definitely feature the same beautiful design. Uh, they may just have slightly different dimensions. No matter which one you choose, all of our cabins will have uh, things like onboard bathrobes and slippers, a uh, flat screen TV with infotainment system, individual air con, uh, a personal safe and hair dryer, hotel style bed uh, and an ensuite bathroom. And as I mentioned before, we do have complimentary Wi-Fi throughout the ship. We also stock the cabin with bottled water daily. Uh, and each cabin will feature a fridge as well if you have any medication that you need to store um, or perhaps you've made some purchases throughout your excursions or some nice little treats. So we'll start with our most luxurious suite, which is the owner's one bedroom suite. Uh, it's located on the horizon deck, which is our top level uh, of cabin, and it's nearly twice the size of staterooms. Now it features a full outside balcony in the living area, which we can convert into a sunroom um, with some glass doors which fold back. Um, so this is perfect for entertaining uh, if you've got some friends that are on the cruise. Um, and it also has a separate bedroom area which also features a drop down balcony. This cabin also comes with the Emerald Concierge service. So it's a little bit different to a butler. Um, more like a room service with the option to have a continental breakfast and also pre-dinner canapes served in your suite. It also features an iPad and espresso machine and some items of laundry per day. And this is also the only suite category on board that includes the complimentary mini bar throughout your cruise. Um, it's also the only suite which features a walk-in wardrobe. Then we have the Grand Balcony Suite, which is the pink cabin on your depth plan there in the brochure if you are following along. Um, so like the owner's suite, it has the full outdoor balcony which converts into a sunroom. And you can see there in the image the glass doors which are folded back. Um, these are also located on the horizon deck um, and also features the Emerald Concierge service. So um, things like your laundry items are included there. Now, all of the suites have these lovely hotel quality beds uh, with lovely duvets and pillows. And as you can see there, the flat screen TV and lots of storage. Um, so in, within that storage is your safe, um, so your passport or any valuables that you've taken along, um, and your fridge um, for anything that you need to store in there. Now, you're welcome to purchase wine uh, or anything like that off of the ship and bring it on board to enjoy in your cabin. You just can't take it into the bar or the restaurant. Now the majority of cabins on our ship are the Emerald Balcony Suites and these are located on the Horizon Deck, which is the top deck, and also the Vista Deck, which is your middle deck of cabins. Um, they feature the innovative floor-to-ceiling drop-down glass balcony, so it allows beautiful fresh air to come in um, as you're sailing along and also enjoy sweeping views of the river. Now all of our cabins on board feature an Australian power plug in the bathroom and also several European outlets. So I would suggest taking a few European adapters for your trip. Um, all of the en-suites feature power showers, um, so great water pressure throughout your cruise, and all of the cabins have great storage. So even if you're an overpacker like me, there's plenty of room for all of your belongings. Um, you can unpack once, and your suitcases will fit under your bed as well. Um, so nothing left lying about. Now down on our Riviera deck, we have the Emerald State Rooms, which is our lead-in cabin, uh, which is the brochure class that you'll see on each of the itinerary pages. Um, so this features a fixed picture window in place of the balcony. Now these all feature the same amenities as our other suites, including the same beds, the same ensuite layout, um, same storage, TV, air conditioning, bottled water, etc. We also have a number of single deals available in these cabins um, and also a couple available in some balcony cabins. Now our ships on the Rhine main Danube and also the Rhone in France. Uh, we have two single cabins, 
um, which is slightly smaller. Um, but unfortunately, we don't have any of these on the duo uh, based on the size of the ship. So as you can see, the ships really are beautiful and they do have all of the features of a top hotel. So I'm sure that you can be confident in whatever suite that you do choose. Something else that we ex uh, offer exclusively to Evergreen is our unique You're Invited program. So on our You're Invited excursions, you'll be welcomed into the lives of the locals for authentic sites into the heart of the culture of the area. Uh, in Bratislava, for example, you'll be welcomed into a Slovakian home for afternoon tea. Um, it's a really fun afternoon, so you'll break into small groups and meet with a local family. Um, and each family is different. So the one that I visited was a local teacher and he was also a local winemaker. So uh, we got to sit in his garden with tea and coffee and cake made by his lovely wife and also got to sample some of his wines that he had made. Um, this excursion regularly comes up as a highlight on our guest surveys. Um, and we also have things on our Amsterdam to Basel cruise, like a Black Forest cake making demonstration and tasting in Germany. In France, we offer a very, we welcome a very special guest on board. Um, so Chef Fabian there in the picture uh, was a finalist in France's Top Chef program. So similar to MasterChef, um, but for qualified chefs. And he also owns a number of world-renowned restaurants in the area. He's actually created a special menu um, using local ingredients from the area of Provence. Um, and he will host a wonderful highlight dinner whilst we're in the area. So he'll come on board, he'll be wandering around the restaurant, you can ask him some questions. Um, and our lovely team of chefs will prepare his menu. In Portugal, we actually take you all off of the ship one evening for dinner in a local wine estate. Um, as you can see here, beautiful scenery throughout the Douro Valley. So all of these excursions are included in your cruise and they're not extra on top of the price. So. Now one of the best things uh, about cruising with Evergreen is that all you must see sites and excursions are all included. Um, and feedback from our guests has told us that they also value um, a little free time for them to wander around and have some time at leisure. So during this time, we also offer our Discover Mode about more program of optional excursions to further enhance your trip. And these are noted on each of the itinerary pages um, throughout your brochure and also on the website. Um, and we do have full details with each of these excursions in the back of the brochure, so you can book these before you leave home if you do wish. Now one of our most popular Discover Moors is in Vienna uh, with a private recital uh, from some of Vienna's top performers in a beautiful concert hall. Um, so there'll be a couple of opera singers and a, an orchestra there and this is something that our guests really rate as a must do. Another option is to visit the World Heritage listed city of Chesky Krumlov, which is pictured here. Um, and it's a beautiful little city uh, in the Czech Republic. In Gothenburg, you can step back into the Middle Ages and admire the beautiful Gothic and Renaissance architecture there in Germany. In Serbia, we have a, an option to visit the National Opera Theatre with a tour. Uh, and you can go backstage for a behind the scenes look at the costumes and the dressing rooms and the makeup. Uh, and then we also enjoy a performance from two of the local uh, opera singers. For the foodies, uh, we can take you off uh, in Nuremberg with a local chef for a lesson in how to make traditional German gingerbread. Um, so there's plenty of more uh, inspiration in the back of the brochure. And as mentioned, you can book these from home. So just speak to your travel agent or for our reservation team when you do make that booking. Now we have a vast offering of river cruises throughout Europe from the classic Rhine main Danube between Amsterdam and Budapest. This is a 15 day itinerary uh, and one of our most popular options. From here you can also continue down through Eastern Europe from Budapest to Bucharest uh, and this itinerary can be combined for um, a larger cruise from Amsterdam right down to Bucharest. 
We also have the Amsterdam to Basel, which is an eight-day itinerary. Um, so if you've already done um, the Amsterdam to Budapest cruise, the only places that you would visit here again are Amsterdam and Cologne. Um, so plenty more to see there. This itinerary also links to the few of our land tours, uh, including the best of Switzerland and also through beautiful Tuscany. So a lot of people ask, what is a typical day cruising with Evergreen? So you'll start your day with breakfast uh, in, the, in the restaurant there or in the Horizon Lounge. Then generally we would have a morning excursion, so a guided city tour of places like uh, Nuremberg or Vienna, for example. We head back on board for lunch. And then in the afternoon, generally you'll have uh, time at leisure, so you can head back on the into town to explore on your own. Um, you could relax on board or take a dip in the pool, or perhaps take part in one of the Discover More uh, tours, which I just mentioned. We then uh, have a four-course dinner on board and evening entertainment, such as the, the gypsy dances, or perhaps a disco, or kick back in the cinema with a movie. We also have two brand new starships, uh, which we launched this year in 2017. So the Emerald Liberté cruises the south of France on the Rhone and Seine rivers and had a first sailing only six weeks ago, uh, while the Emerald Radiance sails on the Portugal Dura River and has just begun her third sailing just over the weekend. Um, so you can see on this map that we do have the French River creeping. Uh, this is over an eight-day or seven-night itinerary from Lyon right down to the beautiful area of Provence. Um, and along the way, you'll visit beautiful towns such as Macon, chalon sur saone Tournon, uh, and along with beautiful Avignon here in the picture. You can also extend on to our Nice extension, uh, for example, and explore Nice and Monte Carlo or perhaps uh, into Barcelona. Now we do offer all of these cruises in reverse if that fits better with any other travel arrangements you have. Um, so you could cruise north through France uh, or perhaps Budapest up to Amsterdam. We also have the Douro Valley in Portugal, which is again new for uh, our program with our ship only starting sailing there uh, a couple of weeks ago. Now Portugal is known for its beaches and also its beautiful scenery. Um, from Porto inland through Douro all the way out into Salamanca in Spain um, has these beautiful steep valleys full of vineyards uh, which are sailed through and can see here in the picture. On the Douro cruise we do have a lot more daytime sailing and this is because the locks actually only operate through the day. So with this cruise it's, it's quite a relaxed itinerary and you'll have a lot of time to relax on board. Um, so maybe take advantage of the pool up on the roof of the ship as you're sailing through these beautiful areas. Now the Douro Valley is quite steep, um, so it's similar to the Rhine Gorge if you've been there uh, with its scenery. Um, so because of this we don't actually have the bikes on board the Emerald Radiance. Um, it's just too steep to get around. The Douro is still quite new to tourism, um, so it has quite an old world uh, and sort of untouched feel about it. All of these cruises link, and you'll also notice that we've included some of these in our brochure, like the France and Portugal combination, uh, or perhaps the Rhine and the Rhone combination from Amsterdam to Basel, and then down from Lyon to Arles in the south of France. Both of these combinations make a 15-day river cruise, so it's a fantastic option if you've perhaps already done the Amsterdam to Budapest as you know already. Beyond the rivers, we've been uh, running escorted tours uh, around the world for the past 37 years. So our popular programs to Europe, um, in Europe sorry, link seamlessly with all of our river cruises um, throughout Europe, France and in Portugal. We also offer city extensions in Paris, uh, London and Prague off of our Amsterdam to Budapest cruise. And these are all three night stays, so they'll include the breakfast, uh, an orientation tour of the city and plenty of free time to explore on your own as well. So your tour director can assist you with any um, suggestions of what to do if you're not quite sure um, how to get around. Of our France and Portugal cruises, we also have extensions um, in Paris, Nice and Barcelona and also Lisbon and Madrid in Portugal. So these extensions in these cities range from two to three nights 
depending on the destination. Um, but same inclusions in terms of breakfast every day and an orientation tour uh, of the city. We also offer specialist tours to the Chelsea Flower Show uh, in London, which uh, actually just did last week, uh, along with tours through the beautiful Alps, um, Eastern Europe, Tuscany, uh, France, including Normandy and the Loire Valley, uh, other tours throughout Spain and then down the Dalmatian coast. Um, we offer a river cruise to Russia also, um, which isn't on one of our star ships, uh, but it's on a traditional Russian river ship. And we also offer an option to combine this up with our Bucharest to Budapest cruise for a truly Eastern European experience. Now, unfortunately, I don't have time to go through um, every land tour that we offer today, so I'll briefly just touch on a few. Um, so this is our 10-day Eastern Europe escapade land tour, which links seamlessly with our 15-day standard with Europe River Cruise um, from Budapest up to Amsterdam. Now this tour starts in Prague and has stays in Berlin, Warsaw, uh, Krakow, and it includes sites such as Checkpoint Charlie um, and the Berlin Wall. I will also visit uh, Auschwitz concentration camp. Um, so a really interesting insight into a lot of the war history and also life under the Nazi rule uh, during the World War. We also have two tours through the beautiful Alps region. Uh, so the 12-day Grand Alpine Tour, which links with the 15-day Splendors of Europe from Budapest to Amsterdam, and also the 10-day Best of Switzerland Tour uh, which links with our eight-day cruise from Amsterdam to Basel. And this Best of Switzerland also links with our sensations of Southern France cruise. Our eight-day Taste of Tuscany tour uh, links with our Basel to Amsterdam cruise. And this tour actually starts in Florence. So you'll travel out to Pisa, uh, up through the beautiful region of Tuscany, and then into the fashion capital of the world, which is in Milan. Uh, from here, if you choose to add on our river cruise, you'll head across to Basel and then cruise north up to Amsterdam. Our 12-day Dalmatian tour uh, will have you exploring Croatia and all of its coastline. Um, so you'll head into Lake Bled in Slovenia uh, and then finish in the beautiful uh, city of Venice. So this is quite popular and also links with our 15-day Splendid with Europe River Cruise. So you'll start in Amsterdam and sail down and then jump on the coach um, there in Budapest and head on out uh, into Venice. So new for 2018 is a 12-day itinerary um, on the Russian river rivers. Um, you'll cruise through the Spear and Volga rivers and also um, the Lower Danube, if you do choose to combine that with our Budapest, our Bucharest of Budapest River Cruise. Now this river cruise is on a traditional Russian river ship, um, so a bit of a different experience to an Emerald Star ship. And in our brochure there, there is some further information on the ship, uh, which will be sailing on there, which is the MS Rosia. So if you do choose to combine this with our Starship cruise from Bucharest to Budapest. Uh, it will give you a great insight into uh, Eastern Europe. And new for 2018, we've linked a number of uh, ocean cruises to our most popular river cruises for a real cruise experience of a lifetime. If you follow along uh, in the brochure that you have there, we're at page 110. Um, so in total, we have five different river uh, ocean combinations. Um, so this is great if you're a cruise enthusiast um, and can combine two great uh, cruising experiences. The first is our 26-day Best of the Baltic and Splendors of Europe River Cruise. Um, so the Baltic Ocean is actually the gateway to Scandinavia um, and the Baltic countries uh, and also Western Russia. Um, it combines our 15-day Budapest to Amsterdam River Cruise um, with an 11-night cruise on uh, Princess Cruises uh, up through the Baltic waterways. 
So from Amsterdam you'll actually fly into Copenhagen uh, to embark on your Baltic experience and you'll stop in places like Oslo, uh, Tallinn in Estonia, um, St. Petersburg in Russia, Helsinki and Stockholm before you disembark once again in Copenhagen. So this is our third year running this and it's been quite a popular option throughout the year. Um, and the great thing about Princess is that they are child friendly but not quite child focused so it's a great uh, product mix for us with Evergreen. Um, this is also on one of Princess's newer ships, which is the Regal Princess, and she only launched in 2015, so still a very new ship. And for many years we've actually partnered with Holland America Line uh, cruises throughout North America, um, so we're very excited to have now partnered with them throughout Europe also. Um, now all of these cruises that we do with Holland America Line start and finish in really accessible ports uh, like Amsterdam or Dover, which is south of London. On the 22 day Celtic Explorer and Rhine River Cruise, you'll have seven nights on our river cruise from Basel to Amsterdam. You'll then fly to London and join us on the 14 night ocean cruise. So you'll call in uh, to ports such as Guernsey, uh, Cornwall, uh, Bristol, and then up around Ireland, so uh, Galway, Bantry and Waterford, before you head back over to Bruges uh, into Brussels and then disembark again once in Amsterdam. Another new one for 2018 with Holland America Line is our 29 day North Cape and Gems of Norway cruise. So this once again combines with our Budapest to Amsterdam river cruise. Uh, you literally hop off your river cruise there in Amsterdam, head across the cruise terminal and jump on the Holland America Line ship, uh, which is the MS Prinsen Dam. This cruise will take you up the coast of Norway and also across the Arctic Circle. So loads of stunning scenery through the Norwegian fjords. We're actually sailing during the time of the midnight sun, so something that most of us would never experience here in Australia, uh, and crossing the Arctic Circle. So this is a real bucket list trip. Um, you'll head right up into the North Cape uh, of Norway, and then back down again to disembark in Amsterdam. Our final combination with Holland America Line is the 30-day Scottish Highlands and Icelandic Fjords cruise. This is perfect for animal lovers. Um, so lots of wildlife including those gorgeous little wild puffins. Um, and Holland America Line also offers excursions like whale watching, um, glacier safaris uh, or swimming in the beautiful blue lagoon which is pictured here. You'll also visit lots of small fishing villages and some of the larger more vibrant cities. So you'll cruise uh, once again from Budapest to Amsterdam on our river cruise and then join our Holland America Line partner there in Amsterdam before you cruise up to Edinburgh in Scotland, uh, out through the Faroe Islands and then up around incredible Iceland. So famous for sort of volcanic um, and geothermal natural wonders. Now last but not least we have our seven night Mediterranean cruise uh, which is with MSC cruises. This links up with our seven night southern France river cruise for a total of 15 days cruising. Now this cruise uh, you will join your river cruise in Lyon and sail south towards Arles uh, and then join the ocean cruise in Marseille. So you'll stop in ports like uh, Portofino, Naples, Messina, uh, down into Malta and then up into Barcelona also in Spain. Now this is two weeks, um, two very different cruise experiences um, but experienced in the beautiful Mediterranean. This is also on a brand new ship with MSC uh, which is the MSC View which launches actually in 2018 so nice shiny brand new ship for you. Now Evergreen Explorer Club, if you're not sure what this is, um, once you've travelled with us, uh, you'll become an Evergreen Explorer member. Uh, we send out things um, such as regular e-magazines and also monthly newsletters. 
uh, exclusive discounts and deals for future travel, uh, discounts for you and a friend, um, and there'll be certain codes that you need to quote there when you're booking. Um, and all of the Explorer deals which you do feature in the magazine are also combinable with any early bird offers which we have. So now is the time that I'm sure you've all been waiting for, which is our, our special deals. Um, and I'm sure after seeing all these fantastic cruise and touring experiences, um, you'd, you'd prefer to be able to do it for less. So Evergreen, uh, we do reward guests who book early in the season with our best early bird deals. So in addition to our early bird offers, um, as a thank you for joining us today, uh, we will be sending you a discount voucher um, of up to $200 per person. So that's $400 per couple saving. Now this special voucher is available if you book by uh, Friday the 9th of June. If you do need a little bit more time to decide on which cruise or tour that you'd like to do, uh, we do have $100 if, if, if the cruise is booked uh, before next Tuesday the 13th of June. Now this is valid on any 2018 uh, Europe River cruise um, or any of our land options as well. And it can also be combined with any of the early bird discounts uh, which you'll see there in the brochure. So keep an eye on your inbox for that one. So we'll take a look at some of our early bird offers uh, which we have in the brochure. So we believe that the early bird really does get the best offers uh, and our early bird deals are available uh, only until the 31st of April, or October this year uh, or unless they fill out before that. Um, this year we've made it really easy to find which deal applies to which cruise uh, and you'll see all of these in the brochure on pages 26 to 33. We offer a number of deals, uh, so fly free, uh, also fly for 995 per person to Europe, a two for one airfare, uh, or a dollar discount, and these range from around $600 per person right up to $2,100 per person. We also have a number of solo travel deals available. So I'll start with our most popular um, cruise, which is our 15 day river cruise from Amsterdam to Budapest. Now the best value offer is actually on our Riviera deck, the lower deck there. Um, and is valid on cruises which are 15 days continuous sailing or longer. And if you're booking in an Emerald stateroom, so that's our E or D category, you'll actually have your flights included. Now if you do have your flight booked already, or maybe you've got some frequent flyer miles you'd like to use, uh, rather than the fly free to Europe, you can save $2,100 per person with our dollar discount. If you're moving up into a balcony cabin on either the Vista or the Horizon deck, uh, you can fly to Europe for just 995 per person. The alternative here, if you do have your frequent flyer mile um, or another flight that you would prefer, is a dollar discount of $1,200 per person. Again, this is valid for uh, cruises of 15 days or more continuous sailing. Um, so, as an example, the 15-day Amsterdam to Budapest is a cruise. Now, if you are a solo traveller, um, we do have a number of uh, no single supplement deals available. And these are very, very popular and do tend to sell out quite early in the season. Um, so, if you are looking at the Riviera Jet Cabin, so our Emerald Stateroom, um, on either our 15-day Amsterdam to Budapest or our eight-day France itinerary, which will actually waive the single supplement. Um, if you would like to go into a balcony cabin, uh, we'll actually save uh, on the 15-day river cruise up to $7,295 off the single supplement there. So it's just paying the cabin upgrade into the category A suite there. So as mentioned, these are quite limited in availability and they do sell out quite fast. So uh, check with your travel agent or our lovely reservations team 
uh, on the most up-to-date availability of these fields. For both our France and our Portugal cruises, uh, we offer a dollar discount across the entire ship of uh, $600 per person. Um, or if you do combine the two into uh, the 15-day cruise, uh, we offer a two-for-one airfare. Um, and that's no matter which cabin that you're choosing. So all of our deals are noted there in the brochure, um, starting on page 26, or do check out our website. Now one of the questions that uh, I often get is, do I need to pay all of the money when I book? So the answer to that is no. Uh, you'll need to pay uh, $1,000 per person deposit within five days of making that booking. And then final payment isn't due until 90 days prior to your departure. So plenty of time there to pay. Um, however, the earlier that you pay in full, uh, the more you could actually save. So if you're paying in full uh, 12 months or more in advance, you could actually save up to four. $100 per person. So that's $800 per couple, so a great saving there with our early payment discount. If your departure is within 6 to 11 months, uh, you can still save, uh, and the amounts vary from $150 to $250 per person. Um, so check out our website also for details on uh, the payment terms there. So where can you book? Um, I suggest visiting our, your local Evergreen Expert Travel Agent uh, for the best deals and product expertise. Uh, or you can visit um, evergreentours.com.au. We also uh, work closely with Hello World Travel Agency. If you don't have a preferred agency, um, I definitely recommend having a talk to Hello World. Or you can call our uh, reservations team there or head on to our website evergreentours.com.au. So today I've taken you briefly through the Evergreen story um, and the experience on board our beautiful starships, um, including uh, our beautiful uh, cabins and the pool, uh, and some of our onshore experiences, uh, including a Euro Invited and Emerald Active program, um, and also the optional Discover More excursion. Um, I've given you a bit of a brief overview of some of our exciting itineraries. Uh, and how you can also tailor these with our land tours and also our city escapes and also our near ocean and river cruise combination. Uh, and I've also briefly touched on some of our early bird offers. Um, so I have a couple of uh, minutes if anybody has any questions. Um, if you can just send those through. Okay, so one of the questions that we had was the Chelsea Flower Show, does that link up with any of our other river cruises or which river cruises does that link up with? Um, for 2018, it uh, links with our Budapest to Amsterdam river cruise and you can also add on Prague um, to begin with. So it will be three nights in Prague, uh, 14 nights in the river cruise and then three nights in London uh, finishing with the Chelsea Flower Show. Uh, at the moment, it, it doesn't link with the 15-night river cruise, um, but perhaps uh, your travel agent may be able to assist you with it, perhaps and it something else if there is another cruise around the date which you would prefer. Okay, one of the other questions was um, just on the dollar discounts again. So it really does depend on, uh, first of all, which itinerary you're choosing and then uh, which cabin you are choosing within that cruise. So have a look on the brochure. Um, it's spelt out into which um, 
deck that you're on, so Riviera deck, this the deck or the Horizon deck, and also which itinerary that you're doing. Now, if you do have a question in particular, just send it through um, via email and we can certainly answer that. Uh, I, think, I think that's all the questions that we've had at the moment. If there's any other particular ones, um, we'll certainly come back to you on those. Um, the email address, if you do have any questions, is information at evergreentours.com.au. Uh, and we will answer those as soon as we can. So, Thank you for joining me today. Um, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to send those through. So again, uh, information at evergreentoolers.com. Um, and also keep an eye on your emails for that voucher that's coming along uh, to you shortly. So thank you again. Um, I hope you have a lovely day and I hope to see you on board one of our cruises very soon.